So hello on this very sunny day. Uh, this is Mike from Xpix Visuals. Today we will go over the basics. A quick guide to render textures. Why do you want a render texture? Why would you need a render texture? What can you do with a render texture? Why, why is something? Why is that screen so purple and pink or violet maybe? All right. So what a render texture is basically is is it's like um. Uh, it's a way for you to project uh, the image from a camera onto a surface. And uh, the way a render texture works is it's not just a, uh, a static bitmap that's uh, glued onto the surface, but it's, uh, it's a live feed uh, that, that's um, being projected. Um, so basically what, what you need for, to, to set up a render texture is a camera. Uh, you need an input, like uh, it's, you need uh, the image that's going to be projected to be taped somewhere. Think of it as a movie, and that's why I have created this small movie uh, setup. Imagine this is a cinema, uh, and you're sitting here, and you're sipping your uh, your weirdly light mapped soda, and <laughs> and uh, you're looking at the screen, and you're waiting for the movie to start. Uh, but in reality, it's not a movie. It's a live uh, recording of this orc dude and uh, his uh, fire stuff. So what we're gonna do in this quick tutorial is uh, to project this onto this. And uh, what you need uh, need to do is we we got this camera. Uh, so we got a camera that's a, an actual Unity camera. You can see in this preview what it's what it's what it would look like if you would project it onto somewhere. Uh, and uh, so we, what we need to do is we need to go uh, in the project, uh, we right click down here in the project view, we right click and we select create and then we take uh, a render texture. I also want to point out that this tutorial would not be covering like optimizations, performance, uh, best case uh, stuff. Uh, it, it will just introduce the concept of render textures and like spark your imagination. So we 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 clicked uh, create a new render texture and we will name this um, cool render texture. Yeah, yeah, that's happening. So then you can see the options that we get here. Uh, first off is the the uh, the size of it, the the resolution. So think of this as a as a as an uh, as a bitmap image or or video. Uh, so 256 by 256 might be a little small for what, what we want to achieve here. Uh, what I've done is I've scaled this uh, this canvas to be 16 times 9 to represent the uh, aspect, aspect ratio of normal um, computer monitors and such. Uh, and that is the same aspect ratio that uh, HD and uh, yeah, YouTube uh, windows use. Uh, so we will uh, set this cool render texture to have Let's not do full HD, but let's do HD ready, so 1280 by 720. Uh, and you can see already that it rescales to that aspect ratio. Let's skip the the other stuff for now. So this uh, this quad, this uh, movie, the cinema canvas, I don't know if it's called canvas, the screen, yeah, the, the silver screen even. Yeah, the silver screen, uh, right now it has no material uh, whatsoever, so let's create a material for it. Uh, I right click in the project, I click create and then go to material. Uh, let's call this one uh, silver screen matte. I don't know why it's silver, maybe it's originally made out of silver or something. Uh, let's drag that onto there. And uh, let's open that, uh, the, the options for that, uh, for that material. Uh, let's go with the standard shader for now, maybe there's better ways to do it, but let's, for, for simplicity let's use the standard shader. And what we want to do is we want the image that we're uh, projecting onto to be uh, displayed in the albedo channel of the of the material. Uh, so we will take the, uh, the the cool render texture that we created. We'll drag this onto the albedo, uh, and right now it's black because we don't do anything right now with the cool render texture. The movie hasn't started yet. Um. So what we need to do now is we need to hook this render texture that we created uh, up to the camera that we want uh, to uh, feed the input to it. Uh, and you might have seen this field in 
not thought about it, but in the camera in the camera component, uh, there's something called target texture. Oh, that's exciting. That's exactly what we want. So we, what we do is we uh, drag the cool render texture um, texture onto this field. You could do this, uh, yeah. And what? It's that simple, really. And what that does now is that whatever is filmed by the camera is displayed on that texture. That texture uh, is then uh, what displays the albedo for this material that we created called silver screen. This uh, screen here, this uh, 3D model of a quad has that material on it. Uh, and this is not just static, this is actually live. So if we click the particle system, it'll run. And that'll show us that sweet, sweet movie of the big scary orc. Uh, this updates live and this is possible to do in runtime um, and that's basically it but there are a lot of possibilities that you can do with this you don't just just have to do it with uh, fake cinemas uh, you can use it for if you have uh, maybe TVs placed in your world like screens any screens but you can also do crazy stuff with it like if we if we hit play so we keep this fire rolling uh, we can use this material that we created and uh, apply it to anything. We can uh, have a movie on the floor. We can have the seats for this. And that also depends on how good their UV map. Uh, but what's also fun is that if you think about it, uh, and you think that it's a movie screen, a movie screen isn't just... Uh, it's not a printed screen like a poster. It's something that actually emits light. So what you could do in this case would be to uh, take the emission uh, parameter of of the standard shader and drag the render texture onto there as well. Uh, so we take the cool render texture and we drag it onto emission and boom! That's kind of uh, insane. Uh, so let's pull that down a bit. Say maybe there. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Um, what should we do next? What's the next tutorial? Tell me and I will try to make it. I'm thinking about doing something with uh, light maps uh, and please don't <laughs> regard the fact that these light maps suck because I just did them quickly for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel. I'll be really happy and you will see when the next tutorial comes up. May it be Blender, be it uh, Unity, be it some other cool project that I created. See you later. Bye-bye.